the day this is the day the Lord has made let us rejoice and be glad I just like to thank uh, Reverend Brother Peter for this great opportunity that I am able to talk or say a few words of one of the greatest lady that would ever tread the Andrews area that is Mother Prudence Road. I have known this lady all my life and she was one of the most loving, one of the most caring, one of the, the most uh, intelligent uh, lady mother I have ever met. I remember my time as president of the North Andrews Brown of Bahamas Christian Council. We had one of the greatest uh, gathering that Andrews had ever seen. We had a, uh, some revival service out at the St. Andrews Airport where we had a crusade for one solid week and she was a part of that. Uh, this gathering came from all the way from uh, Baron Point and Mother Prudence Rose was one of the uh, guest speaker and, and she was known as the best. She did the best and the way she spoke I have never heard any woman in my life speak as she spoke at that gathering. And I would say that uh, North Andros will never be the same, can't be the same, because she will always be a mission. She loves everybody, she cherishes everybody, and every time we go down to that store, she would always give you that big smile. And you could always remember, you will know somebody by the smile that she wear. It proves that she loved people, she cherished people, right. and she was always ready to counsel people and give people good cheer to make you, to make your day. That's true. And I am so proud that uh, I have got to know her. She cherished me in my ministry, uh, time without number. And I remember the, the, the last time I was able to, 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 to see her, when I went by her bedside, she give me, still gave me that big smile. And I was, all, I was always, whenever time I meet uh, Reverend Dr. John Newton, I said, when are you going to take me to see uh, Mother Roll? He said, Pastor Oliver, then I'm going in now, so I'll let you know. You know what I mean? And today, not on this morning. The Bahamas has lost a mother. Amen. And today, as I am able to say a, a few words on her behalf, I would say to the folks that are in the North Andrews area, let us strive to do our best. The word said, if then we give, I tell you, she gave the best of her service. And she gave it to everybody. You know, I remember uh, uh, there are some folks that with politics, it, 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 it makes a change, but with Mother Roll, there was no change. I remember the last time when, when Darrell <laughs> run and, and the FLM won, I went to Mother Roll. She said, uh, she said uh, Pastor Oliver, ain't nothing between me and you. <laughs> <laughs> and we make it off as a smile. Uh, it's, it, you will never find no one in the Bahamas, in the North Andrews area like this lady. And I would say to the family, especially Darrell, we love you. Keep the good wake up. And I would hope that, that someone would come and take her place. You know now, I always go down to the shop and, and I always meet uh, uh, That's Reverend Smith, no, eh? Reverend Noreen. Now Noreen, Noreen seems like she walk into that footstep because she always got good words and good smile for people. And that's what I like. I agree. You know what I mean? 
and, 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 and she is doing a good job. And let us continue in North Andrus to make North Andrus what it ought to be. And I believe that that if we as a people will realize that we ain't bring nothing here, we ain't carrying nothing, let's love one another and let us do for one another and the Lord will continue to bless us. We ain't bring nothing here, we ain't got nothing to carry. Let us live peaceably with one another and every time you meet one another, give, us, give yourself a smile. Smile a while, give yourself a rest. Give your face a rest. And the Lord will continue to love you the best. And Brother Peter, I am so happy that you, you have come and, and I mourn with the family because we have lost a beacon in the North Andrews area. And I pray that God will continue to bless and keep on blessing. We love you, family. Keep on striving on. There is no family like Mother Roll family. I knew. Nineteen fifty, fifty-two, fifty-two. Way back in a time, there was an old prophet that lives in Mastic Point by the name of um, Colebrook, and he had a successor in Low Sound, named one, one Miller. It's the very man who imitate. Yeah. Yeah. And that's how I get to know Reverend Prudent Roll. By going to the church with Brother Manny. And we get to know her way back in 1950. 52. Yes, sir. Um, the person who put down the word matriarch really knew who they were talking about because she was a woman of value, a woman of virtue, because there are so many things that one or two, four things I could think of now that she did way back there in my time that it took more than a woman to do it. Number one, she had the um, privilege of working along with her husband and build a mail boat for Andros. The name of Elizabeth, Madam Elizabeth, who runs between Morgan Block first, then into South Andros. Number two, she relocate from Low Sound onto the highway. And I think whenever that is built into a city form, her name should be mentioned, you know, because yes. she was some of the first who relocated in that area. The next thing is the edifice that she built onto the Lord. Yes. You know, and to me, it seemed like she just built it and said, go ahead, you all take over. <laughs> To me, that is more than human, you know. It has to be the will of the Lord for something of that nature happen, especially in the time that we live. It don't happen that way, you know. And the next thing, Reverend Preacher, is I had the opportunity of dealing with this woman. Um, with money. <laughs> I got it laugh because anytime you find out you can call a person honest, never call, put that word on them honest until you deal with them with money. Right? Regardless how you see a person fish in the morning, come down, come back, to eat. Don't call them honest until you deal with them with money. And I've been dealing with that lady for um, some 30 something years. It could not be a pretend. It has to be something in her that provoke her to continue that long. That honesty is in her. One thing about honesty, you know, you don't go to school for honesty. You don't go to college or a seminar for college for honesty. 
Honesty must first be in you. And when it comes from you, you spread it out to others and to God. It comes to you from you first, onto your fellow men, and then onto God. That's honesty. When I say honesty, um, if something that don't belong to E.L. Rowland's son right, would go to that store, I can't I eat that evening until I get there and get them things out. Right. She don't want the sun go down <laughs> on those things in her store. And she said to me, you know, right, why? So if somebody sees this in my store, they may think I, I honestly bring this here. I said, no matter what, but if they make a mistake and send it there, you know, uh, it's not your fault. I said, no, but I don't want it in my shop. <laughs> you know, it ain't belong to me, so I don't want it in my store. So come and get it. You know, the next thing is, for the money part, I don't have to go to Mother Roll to look for money. We do that monthly thing. When that time comes, she'll call me, Rev, come, make sure beat BDC, BTC or the telco. Because if you don't come first, you might get left. You know, you know that, that, is, that is not common. That is not common. She has a lot of qualities. She has a lot of characteristics. It's true. But the one that is outstanding to me is honesty. And I learned in school that honesty is the best policy. You know, I learned that way back in school. But a role, a woman of God. And I think what Solomon wrote in Proverbs come pretty close to Mother Rule. She's the, she, she, she emulate that very close, you know. And I, therefore, I say, um, sometimes words fail to say, to, 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 to prescribe her. But she really was a woman of God. And may the Lord bless her soul and her soul rest in peace. A tribute to Mother Prudence Rule. A great woman of God, I call her a matriarch. I've been preaching this gospel now from 1977 to now. That should give me 37 years. And I remember as a young evangelist and preacher, my first message, ironically, I preached at Albert Campbell um, Daly Church. I think it was Henry Campbell um, on Olive, Olive Baptist Church. And she was a member there. I think was she. She was a member there at Mount Olive Baptist mind. Church. Yes, that's when I first came in contact with her. First message I preached was, believe it or not, in Lausanne, um, Andrus. And um, I've known her from then until her death. And as a young evangelist, I always marvel. All of us were in St. John Society together. I always marvel at this woman, understanding that her husband had died and left her with over a dozen children, and then she stayed to herself, and that is commendable and remarkable. I can see her sitting down right now in the shop, giving God thanks, you know, always with a smile, never complain. And as a preacher, you know, she was very distinct, you know, um, when I think of her, I think of the likes of her, Lavinia Stewart, you know, they were peculiar women, but Mother Prudence, you know, I think she was in a class all by herself, a great woman of God, faithful to God, faithful in her assignment, um, an example for all to follow. And as young evangelists, I look up to her as a mother in Zion. You know, not to take anything away from this generation, but you know, this generation, I would call them first lady. Listen, we need mothers in the church to teach these young women how to keep themselves, how to uh, adorn themselves, how to take care of their husband and their family and mother. Prudence Road was the um, an epitome of what a mother is and should be. I salute her, even in her death, I remember her legacy. I have been privileged to pastor two of her children, um, Minister Noreen Smith and 
um, Minister Christabel Falls and they are good people and it was a joy pastoring them. I just want to say that mother has left a legacy behind and I believe that the family should carry this legacy on. She has produced so many outstanding citizens. Um, I haven't named them all but everybody knows the Honorable Dara Roll and everybody knows um, Ezit Roll and me and Ezit as my school we went to the Air family together and numerous grandchildren I remember um, Clyde um, as he's gone to be with the Lord she has done a remarkable job we miss her we salute her and God bless God bless your family stay strong and keep that legacy of Mother Prudence alive God I'm Reverend Dr. Michael C. Simonet I have been the uh, superintendent of the Jones Native Baptist Society of Churches for the last 49 years. Um, I have known Reverend Mother Roll soon after I took over as superintendent. Um, I visited Andros. until she was led by God to start a new work and um, this new work was the Freedom Baptist Church. She, she organized Mount Freedom Baptist Church and she was led by the Lord but she felt within herself that she needed a male member. She wanted a male member to pastor of the church, and so she asked her son-in-law, Reverend E. John Newton, who was a member of Mount Calvary, to come and take over the church. And I remember the Reverend Dr. Charles Smith, superintendent of Zion, and myself, the superintendent of the Native Baptist Churches, went to Mount Freedom and ordained and set up the Reverend E. John Newton as the pastor of the church. Now, I have known Reverend Sister Rose as a lady of the first class. Even after her husband, Reverend Edgar Rose, died, she became the matriarch. She took over the family business, she raised the children who were still with her in the home. She was a person who was loved and respected by the Blue Sound community and the Bahamas. Uh, she was also a person who went all of her way to help people in need. She was a great lady, a woman who loved the Lord and loved the Lord's work. We will all miss her, but she has gone home to be with her Savior, as Paul said, it's far better. Well done, thou good and faithful servant.